Good morning guys and uh, welcome to a day in, yeah that's right, England, not Pakistan anymore. Obviously as you probably already know I arrived last night and uh, yeah, just uh, tried getting some sleep but uh, couldn't manage to sleep. Only got about two, three hours sleep and then uh, just started thinking about the trip and I was just on Facebook and stuff like that and just, just reading all your messages and stuff so yeah, it was really, really nice. Missing them loads so I thought instead of just sitting in my room or sitting inside the house today why not keep myself busy and let's vlog a day in England and because so many people have requested, oh let's just get out of the sun, so many people have requested um, you know to start vlogging in the UK so I thought you know let's give it a go today um, and see how it goes. So today we're going to be taking out my um, car for a little blast uh, because it hasn't been run for a while and then we're going to go to Pet HQ which is a project that me and my father have got started uh, with our business and whatnot but I'll explain more of that when we get there soon. So yeah, let's uh, let's go start up the whips now and uh, yeah, just show you around. Let's go. There we are. Cars are coming back today. Valentine going on. That blood red interior. Fire. My favourite car, the Mercedes G wagon. And we've got the Lambo here. Just come back. Filthy, so that needs a wash. The SLS that needs to be moved out of the way so I can pull out my beast. And there she is. Still haven't got my personalised registration on it, my dad, um, I've asked him to change it over for me, so let's see when he gets around to doing that. But yeah, we've got to move this out of the way first, and then we'll take this out and we'll head over to Pet HQ, let's go. So lock it, let's go, don't want the pops out. Gullwing doors into that blood red interior. Ah, carbon fibre galore. Right, let's start it up, move it out. Go. Oh, it's been a long, long time. Ah, how are you doing, gorgeous? Okay, I forgot even how to start it. Right, yeah, it's key. Let's go. So, button on the side. Oh, 6.2 liter V8, naturally aspirated. forward. Oh, wow. Wow. It just, the brakes just seized. It's been parked up for so long. Oh god, it's going to go for a good little run now. Right, let's put the SLS back to where it was. Sounds like a bull. AMG, baby. I've got the key. Let's go. Here we go. Lock it up. Put the keys to my dad and then we'll head over. So here she is. Here's my baby now. Just letting her idle off and warm up. 
This is a Mercedes C63 507 edition. <coughs> See the little rev. So yeah, uh, if you, I don't know. I've got well, I don't know if you've probably already seen it, but uh, I've done a review on this car as well. If you put in. Uh, a Mercedes C63 AMG 507 edition review by Lord Liam or something along the lines of that should come up um, But yeah, this is my uh, my second car my baby Love it to bits. How many miles is it done now? Uh, let's have a look It's only then 2,200 miles Pretty sweet, hey? Ah, this is scary! So yeah, we're just on uh, our way now to Warsaw. I was actually on the way to Pet HQ, but uh, my dad had to shoot off um, and he needed a driver. So we're just gonna quickly pick up a car um, from yeah, Warsaw, pick up the Rolls Royce Ghost in white. And then from there, I'm gonna either head over to Pet HQ or I'm gonna go show you guys a little surprise. So you just have to wait and see what that is. So yep, I'm in the passenger seat. Well, my dad gives us a good run. Got my old man driving. Just gonna drop him off and then uh, I'm on my way. Listen to this conversation. Hi mate, how you doing? Ah, oh, you're terrible. You are. You don't come back to people, do you? You want to spend money? You're not interested. Where do I go then? I just thought if you can just wrap it up and get a price of thing, come down, deposit it off and get it specked out and done, done. But the other thing, when can we get it? Because the, how come the Arabs can get them, we can't get them? Yeah, but surely they're going to want one or two here because then it's going to be a good advertising for them anyway. Please mate, I'm ready anyway, it's just like, it's just a case of wrapping it up and just get moving. Everything else good? Okay, there we have it guys. Yeah, Sam, just getting on with you, grafting away. Go on, take it easy, we'll catch up later. Top maybe. Hey. What's what they say? Um, you're going to come back to me later on today, stroke tomorrow, and then uh, let's get it sorted in. See? Like Mercedes G-Wagon, you all know that's my favourite car, but I don't know if you've seen the 6x6 version, the six-wheeler. That is an absolute bomb, so yeah, just inquiring about one of them, and that would be a dream machine. So, but the uh, the dealer's being a little bit iffy at the moment. Hopefully we'll be able to get so hold of no one. One's bought one in the country, so, so no one's bought one? They've all gone to Saudi. And no one's bought one in the UK. Well, there's always a first. So here we are now, just picking up the Ghost. Dad's going to jump in that. I'm taking the C63 and do my errands. Let's go. So there goes my pops. He's on his way, just picked up the car now. And it's time to go. Now, turn right, turn left. right, I think I'm gonna go show you the surprise before I go show you Pet HQ. So uh, it's gonna be, uh, how long is the journey? Let's see, I think it's about 15, 15 miles away, so I'll catch you up very, very soon. If you go, Pops. Okay, well that was a little bit of a fail. The surprise that I was going to show you is not ready yet, so we're gonna have to hold on for another week or so. Uh, sorry guys, I probably got excited for no reason. But yeah, let's uh, let's go to Pet HQ and uh, let's show you what's been going on there. Okay, so the, oh God. 
Okay, so the surprise didn't go very well, um, and uh, yeah, I was on the way to Pet HQ, and then again, my father phoned me and says I've got to go pick him up from home. It's always chaos around here uh, when running pet. We don't know whether we're coming or going, but uh, I'm waiting for my dad to come out of the house now. So whilst he, whilst I'm waiting for him, I thought I'd just show you around some of the cars, because um, after all, this is what I am all about, really. Uh, that's my mum's Porsche K and Turbo S. This SLS here, this is a beauty. I remember uh, on th it was the Thursday evening uh, or so, I found out that they were going to stop production of this car. Um, and on Thursday midnight, I went on to the Auto Trader and looked for a nice example of an SLS and uh, came across this. And the car was purchased the following day in the morning. So, yeah, this is a nice little collector's car. I'm going to keep on to that, inshallah. Um, then we have my mum's, my mom's, I don't know why I keep saying my mum's, <laughs> it sounds like my mum's uh, Range Rover. And we have a couple of Phantoms here, some, like loads of them have gone on higher at the moment. So yeah, this is all the kit that's left over and then they're heading out tomorrow as well. Got the G-Wagon as well, got the black one coming tonight and uh, the Lambo's been washed now. C63 and then we have the uh, White Ghost. Um, the black one's coming back from central London tonight as well, it's in Knightsbridge at the moment. So yeah, this is just being cleaned up now. Other than that, lots of white cars. Uh, that's my. Anyone notice that my Scirocco's not here? It's gone to Volkswagen VW uh, for a gearbox oil change because apparently they've recalled it because uh, the oil caused the gearbox to uh, overheat occasionally. So yeah, that should be back soon. I'm also looking for. Well, I say looking. I oh, know actually, I nearly let out the surprise. My bad. <laughs> Leave it there. But yeah, just waiting for my dad and I'm going to head over to Page HQ. Some of you want to know what uh, stuff that we used to wash the car. I got the Karsha Jet Wash and then you got some Auto Glim tire shine. And that's there looking filthy. We've got like a universal cleaner. It's like a little chemical. And like, we've got some of the drums in here as well. I think this is it. The Sterling Products Aqua Marina High Foaming Vehicle Shampoo. That's what we used to wash the cars. It's really, really good. My dad's always used that. Well, he's always got them to use it, and there's, there's some also glim bits as well. It's good stuff. Ghost is looking smart. Mmm, some memories of Pakistan. Burfi. Do you want some? Mmm. That's delicious. Oh, we got on our way. Pakistan. I'm going to jump in the passenger seat. Because I can't be bothered to drive. Such bad habits from Pakistan. Where the driver drives for you. There's the man in the blue jacket. It's like Michelin man. What's that? So your jacket looks like Michelin man's. You know, you know what Michelin man is, don't you? The guy in the balloon. <laughs> Just finished off the bouncy. But my dad's not allowed one. And typical British weather, it's raining. What's the temperature outside? 19 degrees Celsius though. So yeah. I actually feel warmer here than I do in Pakistan. Oh, saved by the bell. Like the copy. So there we are guys, see another plan has just changed over. We were heading towards Pet HQ, but we're actually going to go um, collect a car now. Um, a black G-Wagon, it just needs to be picked up. And uh, other than that, yeah, it's not a very busy day today, considering uh, from a normal day. Uh, when we have a really, really, really busy day, I'll definitely vlog that for you so you can see how manic it is. It's just crazy, we're all over the country. But yeah, normally it's really busy on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Monday over the weekend, you know, there's, there's a lot of weddings going on and stuff and Birthdays and whatnot special occasions and stuff. So yeah, people normally hire the cars And then we have like midweek the odd midweek corporate hires and stuff like that, but yeah, that's it really and Friday yeah, so we only have like a, a couple of days probably two days during the whole week Where we have a chance to catch up with the cars and wash them over and bits and bobs and uh, sometimes not even that so yeah, we're just going to go pick up the black G-Wagon now and uh, then I'll head over to Page HQ.
So, here we are ladies and gentlemen at Pet HQ. Let's go inside because it's a bit windy out here. Duh, duh, duh. There we go. Awesome. So here we are guys. Uh, I'm just going to show you around uh, our little project. That's obviously the current office right now. Before I went, none of this was done. The ceiling is now, well, nearly going up. It's nearly done. Got the plaster board. Has he plastered it? He has. This is the first time I'm seeing it as well, guys. These are obviously uh, grids for LED light panels as well. So yeah, downstairs, keeping like the heavy, the heavy stuff. So this is the Phantoms, G-Wagons and stuff like that. Supercars, more than likely to go upstairs. Obviously the wash bay as well. Still some tiling to finish off. But yeah, we're getting there. Then we have like the cladding and stuff. We'll get around to that in a minute. Let me just show you the inside first. Yep, there we go. So over here, we have the fire escape. And also, I think they're gonna have like a little um, kitchen downstairs here. This is the lift. Oh God, they're still gonna install that, I think. But yeah, that's the, that's the lift. Let's see, peel that off. Some underneath. Yeah, we'll leave that there. And this is just a another toilet in here. A little bit small, but it's just like a little emergency toilet. Um, and then yeah, we have a little staircase here. It's still gonna be all glammed up. So yeah, a lot to go here. Obviously there's a lot of finishing to do as well here. We're gonna have like a glass partition and all sorts. But uh, oh yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> Let me go upstairs. Just, uh, so they've got scaffolding up. But how am I gonna get up here? <laughs> I've got to fit this. Look at the gap. Look at the size of the gap. <laughs> Okay. Oh God. <laughs> right, so now we're upstairs. Page Q. These are the offices. That's office number one. Here. And then we have another toilet here. This is just like a little, I don't know, like a little dead end. But yeah, here's a, the lift obviously, the human lift. And this is my office here. So this one will be my office. You come up the staircase here. I've got a fish tank. Let me just show you the structure of the fish tank. I think they've had the RSJs made as well. Yep, there they are. So this here is the, uh, is the founder, is the base for what is going to be a fish tank going all the way to the top. So yeah, there's just a, a fish tank wall for my office. And this will be my hub, inshallah. Um, Yep, that's my view. So yeah, still all needs to be tarmac down there. Still a lot to do, but we're getting there, slow and steady. After all, we're, no, we're in no rush. The business is still running as it is. Um, it's more, uh, more of a way to uh, become uh, in it, you know, a little bit different. Instead of, uh, I mean, this place, I don't know, will not really earn me much money, but it's just nice to have your car stored, in, stored somewhere where, you know, uh, it sets you apart from other other companies, you know. It's a, a multi-million pound project, and uh, I think it will be worth it in the end. I've always wanted something like this. That's another office. That's my dad's office. So yeah, my office, my dad's office. Another like just for the uh, the uh, PAs and the sales staff here. And this here is going to be a prayer room, so I don't have to go. Um, obviously, because we're so busy during the day, instead of missing your prayers you might as well just build your own mini uh, mini prayer room here at page HQ so um, it means that you can just pray really quickly and then carry on with your work uh, and then we have the uh, so yeah that's the conference room there there's still again a lot of finishing to do there's gonna be glass walls coming up to the edges here all the way to the top what you see right now is like half of what it's going to be then I designed this here it's going to be a sitting uh, area for customers and also I'm going to have it like, uh, well, well I've had these made here, in here, these little sections here made so I can display my model cars. Now, I've been collecting uh, diecast model cars for a long time now from Dubai and anywhere I go on holiday if I find high quality uh, car models I always buy them and I've, uh, I've acquired quite a collection over, over the years. Usually of the cars that I have actually owned in the past. Um, yeah, that anyway. So yeah, 
the ceiling brackets are still going up in here. A telly going up there, nice little server. You still got to design all this off a bit, but put it this way, it's going to be like a really, really nice hub. And maybe we can gather people over when we have meets here and we can watch the Formula One in there and stuff. That would be awesome. So, yeah, just car parking spaces here. Comfortably get three here, but I think we can get four here as well. But, I, but yeah, depends really, however you want to sit it. And then uh, this is the lift. The lift comes up, well, that's not the actual lift, that's just some scaffolding. But let me just get the camera one second. Aha, can you see the lift there? See, that is, the base is still going to go on that as well, so it's not like a, a rail. Oh, that's here. Just showing them around. Well, where's the black G-Wagon? Okay. See, okay, so we've got to go again. We've got to head out again, and he needs another lift somewhere. Again, not a very busy day at Pet, but still, we're all over the place. Um, yeah, so yeah, the lift comes up there. Is that the lift still, still got to be finished? There's a base that needs to go on it. So instead of the tires going on the on the tracks, it's going to be a flat base. So it's just like a piece of floor just coming up. It, it'll look really really nice once it's finished, inshallah. And um, yeah, so yeah, how many cars can we get here? So we get one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can we get about eight? Can we go now? I get two minutes. So we get. We get about eight, nine cars up here, comfortably, and about 12, really, really tight, and I've obviously had these bollards made as well. Stole this idea, let's, uh, from the McLaren showroom. So the cars, if, like, let's say we do accidentally put them in gear and it just happens, our foot happens to slip, it doesn't go all the way through. So yeah, this is another fire exit here. Oh, sh damn, can't go that way. Okay, let's go the other way. Let me quickly just show you downstairs on the lift what I meant. <laughs> My dad needs a lift, so I'm gonna have to hurry up a bit. Sorry about this, guys. One second. Oh dear. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. We'll quickly show you the lift. And a few more rooms here. Yeah, so this is the lift here. But where's the base for it? Wait, where's the base coming? Oh, okay, so basically it'll just be a sheet over the top. That's the fire escape there, that way. And this is a storeroom for like tires, oils, and uh, cleaning equipment and stuff like that. That's the wash bay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hurry up because he's being very impatient. And yeah, that's the cladding from outside. Black and red. Looks nice, that's where we're gonna have the platinum logo, platinum at the sides. But yeah, I'll do an updated version, I'll do an updated version of the, um, of the showroom very, very soon, so you guys can uh, keep up to date with it. Oh, that was the quickest tour I've ever done of Bet HQ. Let's go. Just on the way to VW now, as I was mentioning earlier about the uh, recall on the engine, on the gearbox oil. So yeah, I've just had a call from VW to come and pick your car up. So yeah, that's where we're off to. Let's go. Well, that's the Maserati Ferrari. VW showrooms here. Drop you here, yeah. See that, yeah. Yeah. Where's the car? Oh, it's up there somewhere. Okay, well, let me have a look at my car first before I go. Where are you, Shwoku? I haven't seen you for a while. It's my first car, by the way. So where she is? Where is she? Where is she? Go on, sunshine. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Where the hell is my car? Okay. Now then, don't hit the car anyway. Don't curve it. <laughs> Making fake parking sensor noises. Okay. So it's not here. Not in there. It's not here. Come to daddy, where are you son? Where are you, where are you? Okay, it's not here. This is really, really annoying. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Wait, let me just reverse back. Oh, there she is. <laughs> 
We found her. Can you see her? <laughs> there she is. Anyway, that was my Scirocco. My dad will bring that home. I'm going home now. Oh, let me show you. In Soli, well, where I live, around where I live in Soli, all this is the Maserati and Ferrari dealership. We'll go there some other time. I don't like, oh God. Yeah, I don't like going there unless I'm buying something or dropping a car for service. So window shopping is a very, very bad habit. And just going in there for a mooch as well just ends up, ends up being a shopping spree. But yeah, just on the way home now. They've had a look at Paige Q. Um, what have we done today? So, day started off with we went to go pick up the Rolls Royce Ghost, the white one. Then, oh god. Then, what did we do after that? We picked up the Rolls Royce white and Ghost. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I can't drive and talk. Um, and then we. What did we do after that? Then we picked up the black Jeep wagon. And then, yeah, that's it. I think that was it. Yeah, it's not been a very busy day. Because i got all my other workers as well. Uh, they've gone out today to uh, Luton. They've gone out to Central London, Knightsbridge, uh, to pick up a couple of cars from there as well. So yeah, um, the drivers, have been they've been doing most of the work today. Me and my dad, we've been um, having an easy day, relaxing. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog today. Um, this is, see, it's not the same as vlogging in Pakistan, is it? Where's Baran? Where's Baran? There's no Dean, there's no Baran, there's no Ahmed, there's no Hamdan, there's no Saban. It's, it's just not the same. <laughs> but, nevertheless, I've got to carry on, and because I know I'll be seeing them soon, so it's okay. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog even though it was in the UK and it was kind of boring. Sorry I didn't show you the surprise as well, but I genuinely couldn't because it wasn't ready. But when the surprise is ready, then you'll see it and it'll be worth it. But yeah, that'll be coming soon. So yeah, if you like these vlogs, hopefully I can do more when, um, right, I came out the traffic lights now. I'm gonna have to load the camera and talk to you in a second. But yeah, as I was saying, hopefully we can carry on with these uh, vlogs uh, if you've enjoyed it. Uh, I might actually have a very busy schedule up ahead in the next month or so, so I'll keep you updated on it, but for now, we're going to put out this vlog. I might not do one for a while, but it's just like a little test. I actually wanted to see how um, how it goes, because you don't really know how the vlogs are going to turn out until you actually give it a go, and you see what happens, and realistically, I feel as if I'm missing a very, very big part of myself, and that is my, my cousins, my brothers, and uh, yeah, so... Still, that's a big problem, but yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try making these vlog vlogs interesting on my own uh, and with the cars. So yeah, Shrocko's coming home. I'm on the way home now. I'm gonna edit this up, put it up for you guys, um, and see how it goes from there. So uh, if you liked it, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, share, um, and you know what to do. Make sure you follow Twitter, all that relevant bits and bobs. But yeah, if, uh, anything else left to say? Nope. Take it easy, God bless, bye bye. Just drive past that whip. Chew wagon, ghost, and the SLS. All washed up, looking nice and tidy. Oh, and there's a Subaru in the mix. <laughs> My driver's loving it. And the gate's shut. Oh dear. Uh, my car is now officially filthy from going in through the puddles. The Lambo needs to put be put away. Like that. You got it. And there we go. God is the greatest. Mammy, I'm home. Oh, I need to zoom out this bloody thing. Right, so my bad boy's here now. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this was my first car. <laughs> it's actually originally black. I've done it up, and then obviously there's my baby there. So yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to Volkswagen um, Solihull. 
uh, for providing the worst service um, you could possibly expect from a dealership. It's taken them three weeks to change oil, uh, a recall oil, uh, they, well they recall the engine, uh, the gearbox oil, um, and it's taken them three weeks, three long weeks to replace the gearbox oil. A beautiful showroom, not going to lie, uh, done up to the top. Uh, and the staff inside looking very busy as usual drinking cups of tea and coffee so yeah guys thank you very much for the service you've provided i'm never ever coming back to you again you've done an absolute shit job and um, yeah i'm not i'm not one to moan but my dad is actually very very upset and vexed about it and he's the sort of person that will never ever complain but to change gear a gearbox or three weeks to change gearbox oil come on guys what are you go what's going on ridiculous pops anything you want to say Service zero. Showroom. Showroom. Eleven out of ten. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but yeah, other than that, nice car. I mounted the car one week. <laughs> <laughs> one week to mount the car. And how long does it take from our man around the corner? And if they found any faults on it, they'll take another six weeks to sort out. <laughs> and it's only a VW. Look at it. Bugatti, right? Oh, well, hold on, hold on a second. You're calling it a VW, but it's my VW. It's a special VW. There's nothing wrong with having a VW. Look at it. Let me go give it a kiss. Yeah. Mm. There we go. I boss, they've cleaned it nice. Actually, then you know what? No, no, no. Boss, let's give them a let's give them a two out of ten because they have cleaned it. Oh no, they've got dressing all over it. They've put too much tire slick on it as well. Mm. I need the wheels refurbed on it as well. But yeah, there we go. That's it. She's back as well. That's back. You take it. Where's the G wagon? The black one. Oh, it's gone. There you go. The Lambo's nice and clean as well. A few bits and drabs. There's the Michelin man. <laughs> that is the end of the vlog now. Take it easy. Bye bye.